Welcome to Leicester and to the highlights of the second leg of the Heat Trophy semi-final. Teo Ogundengwe got the Heat off to a good start, contributing two of his team-high 22 points as part of a 7-0 Heat run to get things underway. This was on the back of a 20-point performance to lead the Heat in the first leg. However, the riders hit back through J.R. Blunt. While the Heat kept the riders' free-scoring guard quiet in the first leg, he would score a game-high 27 points tonight. Fortunately for the Heat, their excellent defence had given them a 20-point lead from the first leg, but try as they might, they seemed to have no answer for Blunt, who sliced to the basket at will. Behind Blunt's 14, point, 14 first quarter points, the riders led 19-16 at the end of the first period. As the second period got underway, Mike Martin started go, get, to get his game going, here getting his shot to fall as he drove to the basket. The Heat briefly regained the lead, but the riders showed the kind of hustle that they were lacking in the first leg as they got to the loose balls and quickly got back in front, James Warwick scoring here after the steal. At this point, Coach Creon was showing his concern, the riders having erased half of the deficit by the midpoint of the second quarter, with the Heat trailing by 10, 24-34. However, the riders didn't have everything their own way, as after a Julius Joseph drive to the basket, Good work on the offensive glass by James Porter and Mike Martin led to two more points to the Heat captain. Good ball movement from the Heat also set up Julius Joseph for a trademark three from the corner, helping him on his way to 15 points for the game. However, all the Heat could do was keep up with the riders and despite the best efforts of both coaches, the lead would remain at 10 points, the riders going into the break up 47-37. In the third quarter, the Heat needed all of their 20-point cushion, falling behind by as many as 19 points. However, they rallied in going into the fourth and were down by only 13 at 63-76. Julius Joseph showed his versatility, going strongly to the basket for a reverse layup, and the Heat also showed their composure at the line as they went down the stretch. Although they made their free throws when they needed to, they only hit 15 of 31 foul shots for the game. Julius Joseph again showed another facet to his game as he posted up Ryan Zarimurov before spinning to score over centre Barry Lamble. Although tempers were frayed as time wound down, the Heat effectively sealed the deal with an 8-0 run. With a place in the trophy final at stake, the Heat also scrapped and fought for every loose ball, even if things didn't go their own way as the case here. Buoyed by their excellent travelling support, the Heat held on to take their place in the final, despite both Martel McLemore with 11 points and David Schneider with 9 points, filing out, fouling out in the dying minutes. Although they lost 87-94 on the night, it was an impressive performance for the Heat, who would have won both legs had they made their free throws this time. As it was, they were through comfortably, 172-159 on aggregate, and now they wait to see who they will face in the final with the Mersey Tigers and Newcastle Eagles squaring off later in the month in the second semi-final. However, before then, the Heat's focus returns to the BBL Championship as they host the Milton Keynes Lions in the Surrey Sports Park on Saturday. Um, excited to go on to the finals. Um, I think we played well generally. We started a bit slow. I think if we came out with a bit more oomph, as they say, we would have got a, a better result. But I'm just happy to go to the finals. My first finals BBL trophy cup, whatever finals ever, so I'm excited. I would have liked the 30-point lead coming into here, but um, when you can lose a game and still achieve something and um, learn at the same time, I was really happy that you know we got it so close. Could have won it. At about one minute, I kind of like decide, okay, let me take some of the guys out and just see the game out be in the finals. 